Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I wanted to go over the monthly page and how I like to functionally decorate these pages. Um, I know some people have a little, they struggle a little bit with the, with this page, but I really love, I really look forward to decorating these pages. Thankfully, some of my patrons, they ask for monthly pages, so I get to decorate these, this layout a little bit more often than I, than I used to in the past for myself. Um, but yeah, I love using this functionally. I'm going to go over in this video, the more, I feel traditional way that people use the monthly page. I want to do another video where I show like more non-traditional things, which I think I showed in another video, but I want to go more in depth in um, how you can use this these page these pages in your monthly um, for different things uh, that like unique ways. So, and this one is gonna be more traditional, so it's gonna sh just be an overview of the month when it comes to plans that are coming up. Um, for me, I like to use it for upcoming events plans. Uh, appointments, there's appointment, days off, I note my bills, I note my paydays. So the first thing I would suggest is to figure out like what you want to note on your monthly. Like how do you want to, like what do you want to see on these pages? Because for me, I do look at this to see like the overview of the month, um, to see what's going on, like the big things that are going on. And then I use these pages to help me you know, to remind myself of things that I'm going to be doing in my weekly. So the first thing I would suggest is to pre-plan on your monthly, which I always love to do with sticky notes. This is my favorite way to pre-plan. So just taking a sticky note, and it doesn't have to be a fancy sticky note. Um, you can use any like regular post-it notes. Uh, but I usually will take one of these and say like, this is February. My mom's birthday is right here. And then I will write here mom's b-day so i know i'm gonna want to put a box right there this also helps with like how i'm going to decorate my spread um so i don't forget anything because when i decorate my monthly i first put down all the important boxes all the functional things first and then that way i know where i can decorate after that because for my monthly the most important thing is just getting those functional things down and then I will decorate around all the boxes. Um, so that's why I like to pre-plan so I don't forget anything that's important for the month. Like say for instance, I mean, it's not super important to me, but um, if there's like a holiday, Valentine's Day, I'll usually write it on a sticker or in a sticky note. And then um, I will probably put a box there too. So yeah, any, any days that I might have off, like usually I have a Friday off each month, so you could put no work, um, note that. If you have any other birthdays, note those. If you have like parties, you're going, events you're going to, I would note those as well with a sticky note. Um, I do like to note my bills that are due, so I'll just mark them on here on the days that I know I have a bill due. For me, I just like to mark it so I know it's coming up. I don't really like put the amount on there, but that's all up to you if you want to mark it like with the with the amount or if you just want to note that it's, you know, you have a bill due that day. So I'll just stick sticky notes wherever there's something that I want to put a box. Um, so that's how I like to pre-plan in here. Um, and then usually I do this like... As, um, as I'm going in the previous month, if things come up, I could put a sticky note. Like I know this week I have to make um, an, an appointment or um, yeah, I have, to, I have to schedule a delivery for um, some furniture. So I would put a sticky note as a reminder for that. Just different things that I wanna make sure get done and that I note in my planner that I might forget. Um, these sticky notes also, I will like, pre-plan months in advance too if there's something that comes down the line um so that way when i open my monthly i can see oh yeah that's right i have that coming up um so yes definitely recommend pre-planning again i love using sticky notes you don't have to use just sticky notes you could do like a half sheet and just jot down like all the dates and the important events that are coming up just a little something to remind you i feel like it helps for me that I have these jotted down so that way when it comes to the decorating part, which is my favorite part, 
um, I don't lose track of what I actually need to put down in, in the monthly. So for me, now I'm going to get to like more of the decorative part of this. So since I already decided or I already pre-planned some stuff, um, there are certain stickers that I love to use to decorate in my monthly. I feel like, I mean, we all have some boxes. So I have colorful boxes. Of course, any of like JoJo's books are perfect for, for this layout. There are certain sizes that I like to use. This actually, this sticker book is actually for the monthly. It's designed to fit in these monthly boxes, which is really nice. Um, they, ha they have these, these um, notched squares. If you've ever seen these in sticker books, which they do have them in like kind of scattered around in, in all sorts of different books, like this Pastel Tropics. There's a couple like this one right here, this today, that um, will fit perfectly in this monthly. And then you can still see the date. So that's what those are for if you've ever seen those. Um, if you don't have, like, they kind of scatter these around. But they don't put, sometimes they put a lot. Sometimes they don't put a lot. This one didn't have very many in this book. Um, and if you don't have this sticker book, you can still use, like, these stickers and make your own notches if you want to uh, by just cutting out a little notch um, on here. So yeah, you can cut out a little notch if you want to be able to see the date. So that way you can put this here and then it's still like a functional uh, sticker that doesn't cover up the date. I, I do like to see the date, so that's always an option if you don't have any of those monthly stickers. Um, so that way you can use these larger boxes in this spread. Okay, so I wanted to put these on here because I don't want to put them on the, the monthly yet. Um, but yeah, this size is perfect if you cut a notch on that one. Um, but these sizes right here, these smaller ones, they will fit perfectly in here. You don't have to like cut a notch out. So you have this size right here. There's a few sizes I use in this one. This smaller, I don't know the names of these, or the sizes of these other. I think it's like a quarter box. This one will fit nicely in here too. And then I love using these um, thinner ones right here. So these will tend to be, I, I usually gravitate more towards these last three one, three boxes to use in my monthly because they fit perfectly in here that, and they don't cover up the numbers. So yeah, these three sizes I tend to use the most in my monthly. Um, but again, you can use this square size and just cut off a notch if you're wanting to see the actual date in your planner. All right, so for me, I kind of already decided for myself like which which size box I like to use for certain plans. So um, I usually, I've already, yeah, I've already decided over here like this box right here is going to be for special events, which like are birthdays, birthdays, um, holidays. I like to use a bigger box to emphasize those days. So I would just put like mom's birthday just to make it big in the spread. Um, I'll use that one. And then this one, maybe like not so important ones that they're not that they're special, not special, but like maybe something like um, a day off. So events, just regular events, like a day off or an appointment, I'll usually use this size box. Um, so I could put like doctor appointment at 10 a.m. and that'll fit nicely in that box. And then usually these smaller boxes, I've decided I like to use these for bills. So I would just put bill due for those. So for me, I like having like certain boxes sizes to mean certain things in my spread. Most of the time I try to stick to this, but sometimes um, I will like switch these around a little bit. I usually use this smaller one though for bills that are due because uh, I like the way that looks. And it's it's just like, it's enough for me to write like the bill that's due um, versus like having to squeeze mom's birthday in this tiny one or like doctor's appointment in here. I feel like this is just maybe like one word fits nicely in there. So I'll just write the name of the bill in there. 
but that's that's how I like to use them that's how this has worked for me but yeah just decide how you want to use the boxes it really does make it easier like when you're actually pre-planned everything and then you kind of have an idea of like what each box is going to mean uh and like what size boxes mean what so that way when you when you're getting your stickers out you just pull the coordinating ones i've just found that to be the easiest so i just wanted to share that little that little tidbit Another thing that I like to note on my uh, on my monthly are are my paydays. So I'll usually take a bullet point and I'll just put a bullet point down. I don't write payday. I just know when I see that there's a bullet point on my monthly, that means it's a payday. I just like to note them on my spread because I do have a bunch of paydays. Because I think somebody once asked me like, why why do you put um, your paydays on here if you get paid the same day? Uh, well, which is true for my full-time job. I do get paid every Wednesday on every week, but, um, with like social media stuff, I have it like kind of scattered all over the place. And also I like to see like this, this month, I'm only going to have four paydays. I like to see where the paydays will fall first, like compared to the bills that are due. So that way I know which, which checks are going to be going towards which bills. I just like to see it on my on my spread even though I know it's exactly on the same days and um it's just that's why I just put a bullet point though because that way it's just a, a little reminder like okay these are the paydays and then I have a couple scattered around uh, but again you just decide what what each thing is going to mean for you and that way you could put all these down these all these functional thing functional things down on your monthly spread so that way you have all the things that you need because I feel like this is a very functional, I mean, the whole planner is functional, but for me, I love seeing like the overview of the month on here. And it's important to have like every, like all the important things on here. Um, so for me, I'm going to just stick down some boxes like on here. I was planning on doing, it's, it's gonna be kind of like a little plan with me, but kind of sort of not really. Um, but I wanted to do kind of like a little bit of a mock spread so you can see like how I usually work through this so um like on this day it's my mom's birthday so I'm just gonna grab the this ice box all right so I'm gonna grab one of Jojo's books to grab some boxes all right so this size box right here is the box I want to use for holidays and special days so this one's just gonna go here on this day and then I'm gonna put one so you can just put the boxes down as you and then remove the sticky note so that way you know everything's been taken care of and then okay and then um, I can do like a doctor's appointment like let's say I have a doctor's appointment or actually I have a day off work so I'll put a, a smaller one this this size box over here like that over here I have to make an appointment so I'll put a box over here like this I have a few bills that are due so I'm just gonna put these thinner ones right here to mark the bills that are due like that I feel like I should probably keep the sticky notes. When I do my plan with me's, I don't keep the sticky notes on the page. I always remove them, but I think it's probably better to do it this way so you don't forget. I usually reference on the side like what, which ones I have to add, but I think this is easier to just um, put them down and pull them as you go. Um, for me, I like to have the sidebar be functional too. Again, this is a very functional page for me. And so I do like to have this sidebar so that way I can jot down like upcoming things that I want to take care of. Maybe they don't have a specific date that they need to be taken care of, um, but it's some, like a task that I want to take care of during this month. So I'll put like a list over here of things um, that I would, that I need to do. So for that, I usually like to use a sidebar sticker. Um, I will usually use like this size right here which is nice because it gives you 
enough space. I feel like this is a good size. It still gives you space that you can decorate. Or if you want to just have like, feel like a really long to-do list, like around Christmas time, I feel like these are nice to have like, like put a list of um, people for gifts that you need to purchase or do like a running budget total or something like that. So around that time, I probably would use this longer one. So it takes up this whole side. Um, but usually I use this size right here just to have a place to put down things to do. And so I'll stick this over here. And then again, it gives me a space right here that I can decorate if I want to, or put like a quote or something. Um, once I'm at the decorating part. So another thing um, that that you can do to mark something functionally in your planner is like, say for instance, if you have like a vacation coming up, um, you could always use some washi to mark up your vacation. So uh, let's say, so I would put that under like special events or you just regular ones. Uh, but I'll do like a big box because it's always nice to have like a big box for a day for like a vacation time. Um, so let's say I'm taking like vacation towards the end of the month. And then I'm not coming back until like this day right here. Grab another box. You like, actually I would use a smaller box uh, because it's not as exciting <laughs> to come back from a vacation versus like going to a vacation. So I'll be like, okay, come back to vacation here, box. And then if you wanted to mark it, like to visually see like, okay, I'm out this whole week or this weekend, having a long weekend over here. Um, I would use some washi tape. You can mark it like in the middle. I think I would do it like on the bottom right here. And then you have a little reminder like, okay, I'm gonna be out for these days right here. But you have some washi down on the page and it looks really, really cute. Um, so that's a, that's a decorative functional way to use some washi on your monthly just to kind of call out to yourself like, okay, this is gonna be time off. I'm gonna be away that week. All right, so. Now that I have like most of the functional stickers, oh, there's one more thing I wanted to add. I wanted to do my bullet points. For me, again, I use the bullet points for bills that are due. So I'm gonna put those down too, just so you can see like how I usually use them. I'll use green, because I'm gonna do a fun tropical-y spread for this one. Okay, I found a better green. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna put down some green boxes or some green bullet points. Again, this can note like whatever, whatever you want to note, whatever you want the bullet points to mean. That's why I like having these to mean for myself, like one certain thing in my planner, because then I can just look and see like, okay, this is a bill or this is a payday and I don't have to write it in. I just kind of place it and I know like, that's a payday. And then I usually have like a couple that are around the spread too. A few spots right here. Okay, so then that way I know those are all my paydays. All right, cool. So now I have all of the decorative or the functional stuff down. Now I can go in with the decorative things since everything's on here that I need that I want to mark on my monthly. Now I can go in with all the decorative stuff. Again, this is why I like laying down the functional boxes first because it can get tricky decorating this and sometimes I don't want to take up space where I need it functionally. But now I can go in and have, and go put stickers wherever I want. So I'm gonna use Amber's Summer Collection sticker book. She's got these really cute like flamingos and birds and different things I'm just gonna use to decorate. Since I have all this space down here um, that doesn't have a date, I already knew I could use this space for decoration because it's all blank. But you could put down some cute stickers. You can put down like a little bird here and there. Put one up here. That. Um, since I don't plan on writing here, I just plan on writing in here. I know I can take up that space. I got some leaves that you can put down too. 
make it very like tropical-y. And then we got another one. Since I know I don't have anything here, then I'm able to put one over here. Actually, I think I would put one. So I plan on putting something, oh, I'll put a quote there. I think that's a good spot for a quote. So yeah, just lay down all of your decorative stickers that you wanna add to your spread. Put one over here, like that. Since now you know where everything can go, um, since all your functional stuff is on the page. I'm gonna put like probably a quote over here. Cause I either like to put a quote or a quote box, or you can do like more decoration up here. But I usually find like putting a quote is pretty easy to stick over there. Amber has some really good quotes right here that I think I can fit in here. Oh, there's this one that's small enough. These skinny ones are nice to put over here. I usually try to find like this, this type of size, this width like that to fit there. All right, so I got some decorative stickers on here. Um, I also like to add in like decorative quotes onto the spread too. Now these, I, unless I had space like here, you don't, you're not using this space over here, then you can stick this over here and then you're good. But for me, I usually like to use like long, long stickers. I usually like to use like these type of quotes where they're like long, thin quotes. These are my favorite to put into the monthly spreads. This isn't gonna match, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna stick them on the page. Um, but yeah, I would put, like you have this one that says, you got this girl. You could put that in the middle right here. Since I know I don't have anything on there. Even if I did, like say something came up on the 18th, I still have space to right here. This is why I like using these, these long thin ones because they don't take up too much room. Got this one that says choose joy. So I like to just scatter um, some of these long thin ones around the page. I like the way that looks. Also, you can add in, it's always nice to add in some of these like circle stickers or you have like these half circle stickers. These are cute because they say hooray. Um, but you can add in some of these right here. This one says dream big. You could do a little dream big over here. Add like little circle stickers to the side. Again, it doesn't take up a lot of room, but it adds a lot of nice like visual interest around this spread. Um, and then you still have like a lot of functional spaces to write, even though you're putting, I like to overload my spreads with stickers. Um, I'm always surprised how many stickers I can fit on these, on these spreads and still keep it functional. Um, again, you have like these, these are cool to add on to um, like the sides. See like this, this seems a little empty over here. So I would add like a decorative sticker on this side. Again, you still have space to write. So it's like a perfect little sticker to add there. Um, you can do another one over here, like wherever it looks like it needs, wherever it need, looks like it needs a sticker. That's why I usually will stick something to fill in the spot. Not completely fill it in, but you know, just a little bit on the corners, on the sides. Um, these are great to use too. You got these like long thin quotes. You can, oops, sorry. You can um, layer these onto a box. That's always a nice look like that. Just really helps to fill in this spread. All right, so those are gonna be my tips to make a functional monthly spread. Um, I Again, I plan on doing like a more non-traditional monthly type ideas. Uh, which I did touch on in another video, but I kind of want to elaborate a little bit more on it because I have a couple of other ideas that I've done in the past that I wanted to share with all of you. Um, but yeah, I, this is the more traditional way. This is the way, functional way that I like to use my monthly in my spread. Um, just putting down all my plans and focusing. I feel like the pre-planning is really important. One month I didn't pre-plan and I forgot to put down boxes. And for me, it was it wasn't 
it was a little bit of a mess and I was and I got a little confused um so I suggested the pre-planning I love the sticky notes sticking them on there because then you can you can remove them and you could also put them on your weeklies if you want to after you're done um, but they really help me just to visualize like where everything's going to go and which boxes I'm going to use um so yeah just have fun with it and I feel like the monthlies for me they're always a lot of fun to do because um, it, it kind of takes me out of my comfort zone of my usual ways of decorating a uh, weekly spread. Because I always kind of do the same things, like the, lay out the boxes the same way. But since um, the days change and the, the boxes always change or are scattered different ways on the monthly, it does make me have to think of different ways of putting down the decorative stickers if that makes sense because sometimes there's a month where like everything's more so on this side than it is on this side when it comes to my functional boxes so I don't have as much room on this side to decorate versus like this side yeah so it's always different for me um I have a lot of fun with it though I really enjoy uh decorating the monthly so I hope I was able to give you all some new tips and tricks on how to use your monthly and I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.